welcome to Garfield County Public Library's story time today. I'm Nicole and I am super excited to be here today because we have partnered with Evergreen Zero Waste to bring you our little story time about recycling. So we're going to learn about recycling today. Who already knows about recycling or does that at home? That's awesome. Great job guys. Great job. Well, We're going to learn what recycling is. This is a recycling symbol. If you see that on little bins or trash cans, that means you can put some special stuff in there and they're gonna take that stuff and they're gonna turn it into brand new stuff like toys and books and all sorts of different stuff. So first we're gonna sing a little song and it's gonna be probably familiar to you. So you can stand up and dance and sing along if you really like, I would like that. Thanks, all right, here we go. So we pick up paper and put it in, we put it in, we put it in, we pick up paper and put it in, in the recycling bin. We pick up plastic and put it in, we put it in, we put it in, we pick up plastic and put it in, in the recycling bin. We pick up cans and put them in, we put them in, we put them in, we pick up cans and put them in, in the recycling bin. Yay, good job, guys. We learned a few things that we can put in recycling bins, like cans, plastic, paper. All right, who else wants to know what else we can do with that stuff? Well, we're gonna read a little book called Why Should I Recycle? And it's gonna help us learn about stuff that we can recycle and what it gets turned into. Does that sound fun? This book is written by Jen Green, illustrated by Mike Gordon. They're getting all their recyclables ready and together so that they can go get recycled and turn into new fun stuff. Okay. In my family, we recycle our garbage. We return things so they can be used again. We didn't always recycle. We used to throw everything away. See that? Big recycling bin, putting cans and bottles and paper. On our way to school, we always pass Mr. Jones's house. Mr. Jones is our teacher. One day, we saw him putting a special box with cans, bottles, papers by the gate. What are you doing? He's getting that box out by the gate so they can come pick it up and go turn it into new stuff. This box is for recycling. All these things are taken away and used again, said Mr. Jones. What's recycling? I'll explain at school. Even the doggy's thinking about recycling. In class, Mr. Jones asked us what we did with our trash. We put it in the garbage can. It's just old trash. Mr. Jones said garbage contained lots of useful things that can be recycled or used again. Why should I recycle? They're learning about recycling from Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones took the class to a recycling center. It had separate containers for bottles, cans, plastic, clothes, and paper. What do you think happens to all the glass that goes in here? Asked Mr. Jones. Oh, that's a big bin for glass. I wonder where that goes. It all gets broken down to make new shiny bottles. And guess what happens to all the cans that go in here? Asked Mr. Jones. Wow, that's a lot of cans, huh? What do they do with those? They get melted down to make new metal things such as bikes and scooters. Wow! And what about the paper and plastic that goes in here and here, Mr. Jones asked. The paper gets shredded and used to make new books and comics. All these things come from garbage we just throw away. This plastic can be used to make all kinds of things, including clothes. You might be wearing some, said Mr. Jones. So why waste waste? Hmm? 
Most of the garbage we put in the trash can gets buried in dumps that spoil the countryside. It's good to recycle as much as you can, said Mr. Jones. So what else can we recycle? See, we don't want our garbage ending up there. We want to make new shiny stuff out of it. Clothes, books, and toys that you don't want can all be taken to a secondhand store, explained Mr. Jones. The food we buy at supermarkets comes in packages that can often be used again. Don't waste waste, Mom. She's going to use a plastic bottle and make it into a new plant holder. Grow a plant in it. That's fun. I told Mom and Dad about our trip to the recycling center. Now we buy recycled things at the stores. Recycled paper helps save trees. We always recycle the plastic bags too. We brought our own bags, thanks. Go grocery shopping, bring the own plastic bags to put the groceries in. We also recycle everything at home. Fruit and vegetable peelings get recycled on our new compost heap. The compost helps my mom's prized vegetables grow. Mmm, I like vegetables. Do you like vegetables? See, he's putting them in the compost box. And then it's gonna go on mom's vegetables and help them grow. Now we recycle so much garbage, there's hardly any left to put in the can. Recycling is kind to nature, it saves money, and it's fun. All right, so we learned about all sorts of things we can recycle and what they get turned into. So I want you guys to keep practicing your recycling, and I hope we see you next time at our next story time. Have a great week. Bye, everybody. I have all this stuff, but I don't know where it goes. Should I throw it in the trash? Or can I recycle it and keep it out of the landfill instead? How do I know it's recyclable? Well, let me help you there. The most commonly accepted items in the recycling are hard plastics, glass jars and bottles, paper, cardboard boxes, aluminum cans, and steel or tin cans. Okay, but what happens to them after I recycle it? Well, the recycling truck will swing by your house and pick up your bin and bring it to the recycling center, where there are these big machines who are swinging around and pulling out the different plastics and papers and cardboards, and they'll take that material and make it into big bales and sell it to manufacturers who can then take something like your plastic bottle and turn it into a fleece jacket, for example. Wow, I had no idea. So what happens to this? That glass jar that you recycled will be turned into another glass jar or bottle. And what about this scrap paper? Scrap paper gets turned into paper towels or toilet paper. What happens to this old cardboard box? That cardboard box you recycled will get recycled down into a paperboard box, which you might find mac and cheese in, or cereal, or crackers. How about an old coffee can? That coffee can you recycled will be turned into another can, maybe a soup can. What about a soda can? Aluminum cans are actually some of the best things to recycle. They can be recycled back into a new aluminum can and be back in the grocery store shelves in as little as about three months. Wow, this is all so cool. Can I recycle any of these items? Unfortunately, some things simply cannot be recycled. Cardboard, for example, can only be recycled if it's clean, which means that your nasty old egg carton 
or a greasy pizza box cannot be put in your recycling bin. Instead, it can be composted. Similarly, if you have a tissue or a piece of paper towel, that material has been recycled before likely from a piece of office paper, for example, and has fibers that are too short for the manufacturer to remanufacture into something else. But those can also go into the compost bin. Next, we have a disposable coffee cup. Unfortunately, these can neither be recycled nor composted. They are pieces of paper that are lined with plastic, which helps it retain the heat and the liquids. However, the recycling center does not have the means to separate those materials out from each other. So disposable coffee cups need to go in the trash. Lastly, plastic bags. Another item that unfortunately has to go in the trash. If it winds up at the recycling center, even if it's containing recyclable materials inside of it, it causes a lot of problems. Those big machines that are turning around get caught up with these plastic bags and cause a lot of problems for the sorting process and lead to a lot of problems with uh, workers having to climb up in the machinery and cut out plastic bags. And that material simply is just uh, too low value for a manufacturer to make something new out of. So, Plastic bags should also go in the trash. Wow, it's so cool that these items are recycled and turned into these items. I'll remember next time what you said about what can and can't be recycled when I go to throw something out. Thanks!